Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to continue our study of word problems. And this section, we're going to tackle word problems that involve division with decimals, or dividing by decimals. So we've, in this course so far, we've done adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing whole numbers and problems that deal with that. And we've started to work with decimals and adding and subtracting and multiplying decimals. So here we're just completing things and we're going to work with problems that end up needing or having you divide uh, two numbers together when those numbers are decimals. So the good news is if you've gone back and you understand how to do the decimal word or how to do the division word problems that we had earlier in the class, earlier in a few chapters ago, okay, on the DVD, then you can use exactly the same logic to know when to divide here. It's just that here the division is going to involve decimals, and we're going to practice that here, and we're going to get some really good practice with that. So in general, just to recap, when you have a problem that involves division, it's usually going to involve something that, uh, you know, says something to the effect of how much does each thing cost, or or uh, you know you have a total amount of something okay and you know that each little part of that is so much like you may have a total amount of money right and you may have something that costs a few dollars how many of these things could you buy so when you have something that's sort of a total amount of something it could be weight to so many pounds or so many dollars or so many cups of lemonade or something like this and then you have you know and the problem tells you you know that each one of these things is is so many pounds or so many dollars or whatever how many could you buy or how many uh, how much uh, money would you need or how many things could you get uh, or something like this there's not a great keyword to really focus in on that's going to tell you hundred percent sure that you need to divide but I'm trying to give you some some tips and pointers that you can use as we go along but the most important thing and that I've been talking about in this course all all the time is you must understand the problem even if you have to read it four or five times before you do anything you must understand the problem so let's go and do this here and let's work some examples together so the first problem says the total cost of five DVDs is fifty five dollars and twenty five cents okay how much does each DVD cost and this is what I was saying earlier uh, where you're given a total amount of something, in this case the total cost of five DVDs is $55.25. How much does each DVD cost? That is, is a dead giveaway for division because you're given a total amount of money, the $55.25. You know that there's five DVDs involved here. So when you're working these problems you need to start asking yourself, um, do I need to add these things together, subtract them, multiply them, divide them? What do I need to do? And uh, in this case, you know you're not supposed to multiply them together because, you know, it's not, it's not asking you to, to add up anything. It's asking you if you have this much money, okay, and, and that represents the total cost of all of these DVDs, okay, and you know you're buying five of them, how much does each one cost? So that means you must divide by the number of things you're trying to buy to find out how much each one of them costs, okay? So if we're going to do that, uh, it, would look, uh, it would look like this. Okay, now what we're going to do then in order to solve this is we have our $55.25 and we want to divide into that the five, uh, the five DVDs. So what we're doing here is we know the total cost of the DVDs and we know that we're buying five of them. So by dividing them, we'll find out how much each DVD costs, okay? So this is no different concept than any of the other problems we've done in division. It's just that now you have a 